So the Art Shanty project has been happening for many years now and it started as this idea that on our frozen lakes here in Minnesota there aren't building requirements or permits required and so the idea that artists could kind of come onto this ephemeral space that doesn't exist on land and build things beyond their wildest imagination. It's just striking how many um, different varieties of trees and leaves are uh, presented in the regional parks. So I just started doodling and this is essentially one gigantic doodle. On the outside you'll see many different trees represented through leaves and inside you'll see some different trees that are in the regional parks presented on the notebooks inside. And we've been thinking a lot about signage. So I thought maybe this art shanty could be a place to pilot different ways to welcome other people into our system. And so we brought together a group of five artists to think about um, welcome signs. So we talked a lot about how designers and how signage can play a more welcoming role in uh, bringing new audiences into the parks. So this is uh, two people hanging out um, looking at a sunset. I think it's uh, and a universal image and a, a welcoming image to, to every, every family. Each weekend a different flag will be flown off the side of our shanty and I think it's a really fun way to add color to our regional park system. Our project is called The Future Forest and the idea is that every five love letters written to a regional park will equal a tree planted in a regional park and kind of this action-based idea around climate change of how do we combat climate change, how do we care and love for our park system and hopefully in the end build a forest based on love. So our other partner in this project is the Mississippi Park Connection, and so they'll be the ones planting the trees at another regional park in Crosby Farm. And they're working with a researcher at the U of M to bring new species to the state of Minnesota and test them and at that regional park in a floodplain. Love letter reading number three. Woo! Dear Richardson Nature Center, I love you because Moonwalks with the Scouts got so many interested in the outdoors. Love, Jonathan. Thank you. Wow. Our first day last weekend, we got 350 love letters to regional parks. And our second day, 450 love letters. So right now we're at 155 trees that will be planted in regional parks. And good news is we still have two more weekends to come out here to the Art Shanty Projects in Lake Harriet. I guess on Lake Harriet, not in Lake Harriet. <laughs> not in the lake, on the lake. It's not just living on the ice for those uh, four weeks. People will get to use it for ice fishing and snowshoeing, and it'll be kind of a hub for winter engagement. What I really hope is that the shanty begins to have people feel like they can create change and that they can feel like these parks are theirs and that they begin to think about how do we care for our parks? How do we love our parks? How do we think of them as our front yard, our backyard, our common spaces where we can all come together um, and think about a better future together.